All right, you guys. What I have here today is a nine pound brisket. I still haven't perfected the perfect brisket. So today we're gonna try and make the perfect brisket because I haven't done it yet. And maybe this time we'll do it. So pay attention to the details. What we're gonna do is trim it up just a little bit. Look at all that. We're gonna make some beef tallow. So that is what it looks like after it's trimmed up. Now let's season it up. We're gonna use a Dijon mustard. Brand new bottle of Primo. Probably use at least half of this bottle. Give it a flip. Sprinkle and pat method. All right, so I did almost use a whole bottle, but when you got a 40, $50 brisket, who's complaining about $7 worth of seasoning? All right, now I'm gonna take this outside and put it on my smoker at 200 25 degrees. There you have it, set to 225 on the Gorilla Silverback. We'll go in right there. All right, it's been three and a half hours, since 225. We're gonna get our paper rolled out here because we're gonna wrap this thing. We wanna make this process quick as possible because we don't want this meat stalling out on the cook. All right, it was at 163 about 20 minutes ago. We got our paper sprayed down. Let's go get this brisket and see where it's at. All right, it was at 167. Look how pretty that is. We're gonna wrap this thing up. There we have it, fold it underneath. And we're not going back on the smoker. I got my oven set to 275, so we're gonna throw it right in the oven on a pan. Like that, we're even gonna spray it down a little bit. I don't know why. I feel like I'm supposed to. All right, it's been in the oven at 275 degrees for exactly two hours. We're gonna probe it right here in the thick part. It's up to 198, 199, down here in the flat, 190, 192, 193. So we're gonna take this, remove it from the pan, because it's got residual heat, but we're gonna turn it upside down and let it rest right there, just like that, until it gets to an internal 155, and then we're gonna slice into it. So it's been an hour and 10 minutes, but we're at 158, so that's the perfect temperature to cut this bad boy. This is where you could take this thing and throw it in an ice chest and just leave it and let it rest, let it keep resting. But we got it to the 155, 156. We're gonna cut this open, and hopefully we're gonna have some great results. Oh my goodness. Kind of feeling like this one might be the one. Oh my goodness, look at that, look at that y'all, oh, you know what, I don't know, I can cook it long enough, I don't know, I think just doing the 275, 225, 275 is too much, I'm gonna go 200, 225, longer, slower. Because that is delicious and not too far off from being perfect. Y'all know I love you. Keep sprinkling, my friends. We'll see you next time. We'll figure it out.